Yeah, the title of this one, it's not clickbait. There is a legitimate known safety issue with the Tesla Model Y. It's something that they can only fix once it actually breaks. It broke. And I don't know about you, but the failure on a seatbelt system, yeah, that seems pretty serious. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for the details on this. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Let me just start off by saying, when I say seat belt failure, I'm not talking about the seat belt failing while you're driving and it just kind of coming undone or something like that. The last thing we want to do is cause any type of unnecessary panic out there. The seat belt issue that we're talking about has to do with the seat belt latch system not accepting and attaching to the buckle. Now, that's obviously a pretty big problem and one that we've actually already ran into before. About a year ago, we had this exact same problem in the front passenger seat of our Tesla Model Y. Well, every time we go to put the seatbelt buckle into the latch assembly, it would never click. It would just always let it come out. So you couldn't actually fasten your seatbelt. Now, obviously that's a pretty big safety issue, especially in the front passenger seat where in the state of Pennsylvania, it's a law that you wear your seatbelt there. So we put in for Tesla service request and a mobile service technician came out. Once arrived, he went ahead and he replaced the entire latch assembly. Now, when we talked to him about it and we said, hey, what's kind of going on with this? We were a little shocked to find out that his response was, yeah, th this is a known issue. We, we know that this happens. And we said, okay, well, what's the fix? Is there like something that we can do in the moment to fix it? And apparently the only fix is that the entire latch assembly has to be completely replaced. Now, since he mentioned that this was kind of a known problem, we asked him, well, since you're here, could you just replace all the other latch assemblies in our car? You know, that way it's kind of already done and taken care of. We don't have to worry about it. And he said, no, unfortunately, they were told that they are not allowed to replace the other ones until they actually break. I do understand that when it comes to like recall situations, and this is not a wide scale recall, the manufacturers has to have a huge high number of complaints and failures about a specific item before they'll go ahead and they'll invest the hundreds and thousands and millions of dollars in a full scale recall. And I can kind of understand that from a business perspective, I, I get it. But from a customer service perspective, if you know that it's a known problem and we already have one latch that failed on us, to me, it seems like it would be a better idea to just go ahead and replace all the ones while you're here already. He did replace the one that we had a problem with. And since then, we haven't had any problems. But we did just run into a situation where the problem came up again. And this time, it happened in the middle of a road trip. Just yesterday, we took a road trip to Hershey Park. We were doing a video about the battery prediction accuracy in the Tesla. It's actually a pretty fun little video. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you check it out. I'll go ahead and I'll link it right here for you guys. And once we were done having fun in the park and we went to get back into our car to come home, our entire family of five, Tyler discovered in the back seat that his seatbelt wouldn't latch. Now, we spent a lot of time trying to figure it out and troubleshoot it, and, and ultimately, the latch assembly just failed. It was the problem all over again, but now we had to drive home from Hershey Park in a two-hour drive with our 15-year-old sitting in a seat that he couldn't buckle his seatbelt in. When we go to press this in, it doesn't stay. It doesn't buckle. This thing, it doesn't matter how hard you press, it doesn't stay in. And if we try the middle seat belt on this one over here, it, it's still the same. Thankfully, we made it home safely and everybody is good. But now our Tesla Model Y is sitting here with two now seat belt latch assemblies that aren't operating properly. And we use our car all the time to carpool and shuttle lots of kids around. Now we can't use it because it's not safe to put a bunch of kids in the second row without being able to buckle their seatbelt. The issue we first discovered yesterday on November 12th. This is an issue again that's handled by Tesla mobile service, but the earliest appointment date that we can get was November 22nd. So for the next week, we basically can't use our second row of our car because it's, it's just not safe. We literally came out of our bumper to bumper warranty with Tesla two months ago. So when I put the request in on the Tesla app, it's giving me an estimate telling me that we're going to have to pay to have working seatbelts in our car. I I'm hoping that they do what's right here and they cover it, but we'll have to wait and see. For me, 
It's gonna be a very long and painful week, but for you guys, it's just gonna be a matter of it is Tuesday, November 22nd, and the Tesla Mobile Service Tech, he was just here. So it did take till the scheduled appointment. In fact, Tesla actually reached out to us yesterday on our app and actually tried to reschedule this appointment and kind of push it further down the road. As you can see, we are completely fixed. He ended up just replacing the buckle altogether. He just completely put a new one in. But now when we go to fasten it, now it holds without a problem. Now this is the one that was in there before. He said the reason for the defect in this seatbelt is actually because he said that there's crumbs and it jammed up the release on this and that is what caused it. Now during the explanation of everything, he said that this is actually a very common thing for the second row. He said that he has the same problem with his kids back there, that they have jammed up these seat buckles. And he said that this is something that happens very often, that most times when there's an issue with the seatbelt in the second row. It's gonna be kid related and it's related to just crumbs or lots of dust buildup or like little pieces of paper, all sorts of little stuff. Pennies he said can get in there and it just, it jams it up so that way it can't actually fasten the buckle and the buckle can't latch onto it right there. I then pressed him about the situation that happened last year where we had a similar situation, but in the front row. Now he didn't really address it very much. He, he kind of danced around it and, and he he made it kind of clear. He didn't really want to talk about the one in the front, that he just wanted to keep focus on the one in the rear. But it appears that at least the problem we had in the second row actually wasn't related to that. It seems like it was related to crumbs. Now, once he took it out, he did take a very skinny metal pick and he, he started to kind of shove it in the little crevice there. And then he would press down and he just kept trying to loosen and pull out debris that was in there. And when I asked him, well, could we have just done that rather than have to replace the entire thing? He said that he actually can't do that because sometimes when he puts the pick in, it'll actually destroy the internals of this. It'll kind of pull the spring out and things like that. And then it won't work at all. So he said really the only thing that he can do is he has to replace it. Once it's out, he can start digging around. And if it still works when it's done, I mean, this one he, he told me I can keep. Now, Tesla did charge me for this. I am out of warranty. And two, he isn't relating it to the same problem that we had in the front row. He's saying that this is an entirely new problem caused by just crumbs and kids just leaving dirt in these things. On the original estimate they sent us, the quote was like 20 bucks, somewhere around there. And the actual amount we ended up paying was $82.47. So it, it did end up costing a good bit to get this replaced. It took him, I think he was here maybe like 20 minutes to get it done. It was pretty quick. I mean, it is kind of easy to see how these things can collect a lot of dirt because of where they sit on the bench. I mean, they literally sit almost beneath the bench level. So everything that does get on those cushions, like crumbs or dirt, things like that, I could see how that could all very easily make its way in here. That seems like a little bit of a design flaw. I know in most second rows, I feel like the seatbelts stick up a little bit and probably for that exact purpose. But if there's a reason why they're protruding out, I'm okay if it doesn't look as sleek and minimalistic as the rest of the cabin, as long as I have working functioning seatbelts, because this is now the second seatbelt we've had to replace in two and a half years on our car. And this one cost us $83, which I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I actually feel like that's probably not terrible, but it does seem a little excessive on something that I don't know, I feel like should almost have like a lifetime warranty. I still do have a concern about why the one in the front failed and that they kind of know about that. I didn't want to record it. Number one, I didn't want to put him in an awkward situation. And number two, those the, the Tesla techs, they're actually not allowed to be on camera on these videos. And I, I didn't want to put him in a compromising situation, but I did kind of find it a little odd that he really didn't want to discuss it all that much. And he just kind of pressed past it. I'm still a little concerned. I mean, seatbelts, they're kind of important. It's a big safety issue. Uh, and if there's a known issue and a known flaw with at least the front seat ones, I feel like that's something that they should address before it breaks. I think it's also a PSA out there for everybody to be aware in your second row, make sure to keep these things clean because they'll fail and they'll stick on you without any notice whatsoever. And uh, you know, when that happens, well, then you're just in a bad spot, especially if you got kids. It was a very 
nerve-wracking drive home from Hershey. What I would recommend is go grab a can of compressed air if you got kids and go start blowing these suckers out in your second row. Keep them nice and clean. Let me know what questions you guys have down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, as always, we appreciate you helping us out and smashing that like button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. And if you're thinking about buying a new Tesla, make sure to get your $500 off by using a referral link as part of the Tesla referral program. Our link is down in the description below. And if you do that, make sure to send us a picture on your delivery day of you picking up your Tesla too, so we can give you a shout out on the channel. If you guys wanna see a video about some awesome new Tesla accessories that just came out, go ahead and click that right there. If you wanna see the last video we just did, go ahead and click that right there. Thanks as always, guys. We'll see you in another one.